First time we're hearing from a border patrol agent involved in a dramatic scene that's come to symbolize U.S. immigration policy. The picture of a Honduran girl crying as she and her mother are detained in Texas has grabbed people's attention worldwide. Time magazine put her on its cover, but the photo might be a little misleading. In an interview you'll see only on CBS This Morning, the border agent shows us what happened in the moments before it was taken. David Begno is with us again from McAllen. David, good morning. Good morning. You may have seen the photo, even shared it on social media. A lot of people have. There is some misinformation surrounding what happened, and we wanted to try and clear it up. All week we've been trying to get an interview with this Border Patrol agent to get his account. And so now you're about to hear from the agent and the photographer who were together for nearly 10 hours on a ride along. A lot of you have asked us, where are the mother and child right now? We can confirm that they are together. The federal government tells us they are being housed at a facility in Texas right now. Here now is the Border Patrol agent who detained them. We were patrolling the border. It was after 10 o'clock at night. That is Border Patrol agent Carlos Ruiz, who says he was the first to encounter Sandra Sanchez and her young daughter after they allegedly crossed the Rio Grande River into Texas illegally. We asked her to set the kid down in front of her, not away from her. She was right in front of her. And um, so we can properly search uh, the, the mother. So the kid immediately started crying as he set it down. I personally went up to the mother and asked her, are you doing okay? Is the kid okay? And she said, yes, she's tired and thirsty. It's 11 o'clock at night. When I took this picture, I knew it would be important. I had no way of knowing that it would touch people quite on the level that it has. That's Getty photographer John Moore, who joined Ruiz for a nearly nine hour ride along on the border. He was just feet from Sanchez and the little girl. I asked her uh, how long she'd been traveling and she gave me this very weary look and she said she'd been on the road with her daughter for a month. Imagine doing that with, uh, with children. It's, uh, it's almost impossible to imagine actually. Moore's image is now on the cover of Time magazine next to a picture of the president. They're using it to symbolize a policy, and that was not the case on this picture. It took less than two minutes. Um, as soon as the search was finished, she immediately picked the girl up, and the girl immediately stopped crying. Moore says Ruiz and other agents acted professionally that night, but he is happy with the cover and the response to the image. Oftentimes, immigration is talked about in terms of statistics, and when you put a human face and you hum humanize an issue, uh, you make people feel. And when you make people feel, they have compassion. And if I've done just a little bit of that, then that's okay. We are also fathers. We are also sons. We are also have families. And um, we do care and we do our jobs and we treat these people as humanely and as best as we possibly can. So we have more information about where the mother and daughter are being kept right now. They are currently in the custody of ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, and they are being housed at the South Texas Family Residential Center in Dilly, Texas. Now, ICE tells us in this statement that immigration proceedings are ongoing. You should also know this. ICE says on June 3rd, 2013, the mother who you just saw in that story was encountered, detained and arrested by immigration officials in Hebronville, Texas. She was transferred to ICE custody in 2013 and deported to Honduras. And so they're saying this is now her second time coming into the country illegally. Again, she and the daughter are together and Border Patrol says at no point were they ever separated, not in the custody of Border Patrol and ICE is saying they haven't been separated in our custody. We have not been able to talk to the mother. We can only go by what the government officials are telling us. Thank you very much. Great reporting.